Hmm. Interesting starting options. Looks like a pretty generous Act 1. We've got Guardian at the end. That gives us a slight incentive to take a bit more blocks. It doesn't look like fighting all that many elites is possible. There's scattered around here, but ultimately there's no path that can hit more than two. So two elites will have to be what we can do with. That sounds like a ludicrous run, ludicrous. Uh, sadistic nature on silent is definitely one of my favorites. Is there a three? No. So I'm thinking something probably along the left side. If we're going to fight two elites, we can get a shop afterwards. So I think my intended path would be, or my initial nomination for path would be as follows. Uh, and this is three combats, two events, no matter what. Same order either way, so it doesn't matter really. Yosh, thank you so much for 10 months. I am doing so very well. So, of our starting bonuses, honestly, it's hard to go wrong with any of these, quite frankly. I think you could make me roll a dice to decide, and, I, and I'd be okay with it when it comes to these four starting bonuses. Each of them are useful in their own way. So, option one, remove a card. Generally speaking, I advocate for a defend remove on the Watcher to make sure that you have more consistent strike eruption draws. And this gives you... Quite a bit of health savings in your first few fights. Makes your first elite a lot more manageable. Makes Act 2 and 3 a lot more consistent. A little bit less desirable with Guardian as the boss, but not that not so much so that I wouldn't do it. 100 additional gold. Is going to make this shop a lot more impactful, although notably doesn't help us in the first handful of floors, so I'm a little hesitant to do that. 6 max HP for a random rare relic. Many of the rare relics are absolutely game-changing, particularly um, the ones that are all defensively oriented, like the Incense Burner, Fossilized Helix, or the Cloak Class, Bond Watcher. And at the cost of only 6 max HP, it's pretty easy to get our hands on a rare relic. And lastly, a random boss relic. I think of all the characters, the Watcher has the most tolerance for the boss swap and can benefit very massively from a boss swap. And I'm leaning particularly towards the rare relic here. Matty G says, would any rare relics be detrimental? Not. I don't think there's any that would be bad. I mean, there are rare relics that we could take that we could use detrimentally to ourselves, like the peace pipe or the shovel could be used inappropriately in a way that's detrimental. But I don't think they themselves are detrimental. I'm going to take the rare relic. Let's see what we get. We get a first floor prayer wheel. That's the best time to find this relic. Normal enemies drop an extra card reward. So very crucially, our first three combats are going to offer us two card rewards at once. And we're going to be seeing essentially twice as many card rewards for the whole run. If we can get our hands on a singing bowl from here, we can have a really silly run. But more importantly, this simply lets me build a probably very large, but very complex and resilient deck. Um, almost assuredly going to go 30 or 40 card special because we're just going to be offered so many cards that I want. Uh, a lot of powers that we might take, mental fortresses, rushdowns, talk to the hands... Tantrums, we're really likely to see this kind of deck because I can see a lot of cards and make it very easily. Does this change my intended path? I could do something ridiculous, like try to take as many combats as possible to just look at so many card rewards that... that what? I'm not actually sure what that does for me. Here in Act 1, it's not like we can get upgraded cards. No, I, th I think we... I think we're quite happy with the current path. Give the cultist a boopin'. So, Watcher combats are usually all about maximizing your damage output with that early eruption. Already an instance where removing a defend would have simplified things for us. Alright, a reasonable set of three attacks in this card reward, and what do we have here? Halt, Protect, Consecrate. 
So important to when we've got two card rewards available to us, look at both of them before we make any decisions. Definitely like taking an early Consecrate. That's a favorite of mine for area damage. Yet win-wise for the year, kills has the, the list of it. There we go, yep. 261. Actually, wait, I think it looks like we missed a... S no, 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 never mind. It's, that's up to date. Cryptolo, thanks for the 100 bits. So the only question in my mind is which of these three that I take between Crush Joint, Sash, with Follow-Up. I like Follow-Up with Consecrate. Late Game Weekend is nice, too. Although with uh, Prayer Wheel, it might be a little unnecessary to take Sash Whip. Sash Whip or Consecrate. Hmm. Sash Whip or Follow Up, rather, with Consecrate. Don't like the Crush Joints as much. Prefer one of these two. Merle says, with Consecrate added, would probably skip all of them. And I could see that. It's not like we're not going to see more damage cards, right? Damon82, thanks so much for the two months. Featherfall TT, thank you, is for two months as well. Heck yeah. Definitely a uh, easy to add too many cards at the Prayer Wheel, so I gotta be not not too excessive here. I like Sash Whip for Guardian, not before Talk to the Hand. Hmm. Okay. I'll be reasonably convinced to skip here. Let's see how our next few combats go. With Consecrate, we'll use the Miracle on the strike here. Three damages. Good stuff. So we Eruption Triple Defend? Is that correct? I think that's correct. Yeah. Ooh, Empty Fist or Bowling Bash. Could build a pretty good Divinity deck with uh, Prayer Wheel. Actually, don't mind taking a Prostrate because of Guardian either. Maybe I'll take this Prostrate. Prostrate and Empty Fist, Prostrate and Bowling Bash. Feel like I need Bowling Bash less with a Consecrate. So I'm happy to grab Prostrate, Empty Fist. I could do Windmill Strike Prostrate. That feels absurd. Camel Crush, thanks for 15 months of support. And Jay Dublinson, thanks for 18 months. Heck yeah. Appreciate those congrats. I can also happily skip the Prostrate because... Not helpful against Gremlin Knob. Featherfall TT says, what do I like better between Sands of Time and Windmill Strike? Definitely Sands of Time. Sands of Time I like because you can pay energy up front to get the damage immediately. There's nothing you can do to make Windmill Strike do more damage immediately. You can play it right away, but it's just terrible. Maybe I should have taken the Crush Joints. Hmm. We get even another combat. Okay, so there's four card awards between us and the Elite. Never mind, we're completely fine. That's a lot of card awards. Do full damage here. Vigilance, Empty Fist, Consecrate, Strike. Okay, there's our first talk to the hand, but it's up against a Cutthroat Fae. Consider one of those two pretty strongly. I'm very happy with a third eye. Third Eye going into Guardian is a, a, just one of my favorite commons on Watcher, period. Third Eye is Scry. Lots of Scry. 
for pretty low energy cost. I like to think of Sh Third Eye as a better shrug it off, actually, because you get to you get to look at many cards that you can discard the starter cards that you see, discard status cards or curse cards that you see. And I'll definitely be taking this first talk to the hand. That'll give us a lot of protection against the Guardian. Although Cutthroat Fade might be better right now, actually. We've got a lot of chaff of the deck. I can trust that there will be more Cutthroat Fades, or more talk to the hands later. Hmm. I don't think our rare chance is recorded by the bot. Our rare card chance. We're probably going to see a rare card here. I'll take the cut through fate, actually. I've decided we need it for stuff like this. Yeah. Spooky. This is a dangerous combat for us to have so many defense cards in. Thief and Slime, very aggro here. I could consider using the Power Potion here, of all places. Although it's probably more valuable in the Elite fight coming up. Since I don't have two full potion slots. I'll try to win this without it, but I'm a little concerned that we might be getting robbed here. Or just straight up murdered, apparently. That could also happen. Good lord. What was the thinking behind Prostrate? Prostrate is being added partially because we have Guardian coming up at the end of the act that we have to keep in mind for, but also partially because I, I know well the power of Divinity to generate energy in an energy-starved Watcher deck. And I think Prostrate is a really good foot in the door for Mantra later on. Although it's not of all that use right now. Right now it's just a zero cost block four, which is completely fine, but not amazing. Uh, I have faith that it's going to pay off a lot later on. Assuming I don't die later on. Hmm. Do I try to get this thief before he gets away with my money? Or am I going to save more health by killing the slime first? I'm going to try to get the thief. Going for round three. Well, good for him, question mark. So I have five energy to spend this turn. I think we cut through fate, discard this, then third eye. Goal is to draw back to the eruption next turn when I know the looter won't be attacking me. Aha. So now I can Eruption, Empty Fist, kill you outright, and then block with Third Eye. So we're mostly avoiding the further damage. Right? This will do 27 damage. Yeah, you're super dead. Please don't draw these. Well, very brutal fight, but I think we've come through on the other side of it now. Without having to use our potion. In a pretty commanding spot. So we draw Eruption and Strike next turn. With no Weaken, that'll kill. Alright, we got a Block Potion, which will definitely help with the current health situation. And again, two more cards. A wave of the Hand, a little early for Wave of the Hand. I could see a Crescendo being okay. Judgment's interesting. Second Third Eye is interesting. There's that rare card, by the way. Sanctity is interesting, but not actually necessarily helpful. I think Judgment can be a, a, a very good early game card and be a really good card if your deck has a slow startup. I like to think of Judgment as a kill a minion kind of card. You kill any weak enemy or summoned enemy. That said, it's not very useful against Guardian here. I'd like it more against Slime Boss. And I don't think it's very helpful against the Elite, unless we get the three sentries. So I'm pretty hesitant to add anything other than, honestly, Crescendo. 
um, so that we can have a second source of wrath with retain. I don't exactly love crescendo in the long term, but it does have some good utility to it. And it prevents something horrible from, like, bottom deck eruption against Grum the Knob from happening. There's a fire after the Elite, so I'm going to upgrade Empty Fist before the Elite. Take Crescendo. We get another combat, so two more card wards headed our way. It actually was five combats in a row after all. Amazing. Absolutely ridiculous. Again, we're, we're missing our ability to eruption here, so I'm actually quite grateful for Crescendo. Get in here, Crescendo. The illusion of choice. Yeah. <laughs> Looked safe? Well, it wasn't. He forgot his friend. We just fought this nerd with backup. Now we're fighting with no backup. It's going a lot better, huh? Funny how that works. Give him the squish. Bowling Bass, Just Lucky, Pressure Points, and Fasting, Signature Move, Collect. Lots of fancy cards in these card rewards. Um, I could actually see this Fasting kind of working out for us. Zero cost cards are what make Fasting truly excellent. I could even take a Just Lucky alongside. However... I don't love that right now. I think it's a little too early to try to pick this up and have it go well. We need more energy upgrades first. I think we can just skip both of these. We're ready for the Elite, as we are. Uh, I'm going to upgrade, like I said, the Empty Fist. Make this 14 damage, since we have two different ways to get into Wrath. I'm not willing to upgrade Eruption first. Could also consider upgrading the Consecrate for better AoE damage. Um, but I think we just want to be able to kill one thing fast. Fasting requires zero costs, which require draw. If you've got the good draw, you're already there, he says. I, I don't disagree with that, fundamentally. And I also do affirm that we lack the draw currently. Although we're getting there. Scry is like draw. We're getting there. A couple removals will help, too. We're going to skip it all. I'm going to go for the extra upgrade. We could actually opt for the Burning Elite here, and even more card rewards. I think I'd like a break from card rewards, though. We're going to upgrade Empty Fist. And it is the Gremlin Knob first. Do I want a Power Potion, or do I think we're fine with the upcoming draw? I guess I can do some math. Let's assume I get to Crescendo, Consecrate, Cut Through Fate, Empty Fist. How much damage is that? 24 plus 28. That won't be enough. Definitely seems like there's a lack of damage here. Yeah, I don't see this being quite enough. So I think we'll use the Power Potion. We're looking for either... Um, battle him or fasting would actually be completely fine right now because it would give me three strength immediately at zero cost or rush down we could be okay with the mental fortress we would be okay with the scry of return power we'd be okay with devil form there's rush down that'll do we'll have a rush down for this fight Third eye helps a bit here. Although I'd actually like to draw into the Vigilance, wouldn't I? Let's cut through fate first. Eruptions on top. Am I allowed to do that? No. I don't think that I am. So 
So we'll discard both of these, see what we get. There is Vigilance. Okay, we play this Vigilance. Is that actually going to help me? With Rushdown, it probably will. Although it's a shame that most of our damage is here. We have the Retaining Crescendo with plus draw. I don't think I should play Prostrate because I'm not actually sure that we get a kill next turn. So this would only save me one health this turn anyway. So that's not worth it. So we open with Crescendo. We draw two. We got Eruption. Consecrate. Strike. Eruption. Empty Fist. Thank you, Power Potion. Get ourselves an Art of War. If we play no attacks during our turn, we'll gain extra energy on the next turn. And a rare card, a card we quite like. A card called Scrawl. It says, draw cards until your hand is full. That's our second rare of the act, and it's only floor seven. I'm going to take the Scrawl. Scrawl is a allegedly good card. Great with zero costs in particular. One of, if not the best Watcher rare. Drawing cards is, as they say, pretty good. No Gremlin Alb ahead of us. Block Potion. I think that means we're on track to go this way without resting. We'll upgrade now Eruption. I could also upgrade Crescendo and be quite happy with that. Although, realistically, I'll need to reuse Eruption in certain fights. So let's get that Eruption upgraded. Always want this thing upgraded eventually. Am I sure I don't want a million more card rewards? I'm sure. For now. Singing Ball. Frozen Egg. Any fastings that we take will be upgraded. I mean, Frozen Egg with Prayer Wheel has got to be good. We're, we're going to find powers. It's not the best of the eggs that we could have found. We certainly would have rather seen either Molten or Toxic Egg. Um, but nevertheless, this will grant us some free upgrades on what could be critical things. Why don't I actually just save energy for next turn? Get a Mort of War. Two energy left. Good. Don't think we need any of these. This says plus on it, but that doesn't mean we should take it. It's a little bit of block currently. Generally speaking, a Nirvana plus is a pretty hard sell. Other thing we should maybe at least think about is Prey. Given that we have a Prostray. Prey would give us five Mantra per deck rotation. That's actually starting to get somewhere. And I have a Scrawl. Hmm. It gets us Divinity against Guardian, but I don't know. It doesn't quite feel right. I'm lacking the payoff card. The card that kills things after I actually go Divine. That's our problem. We don't have the payoff card. We're lacking a Carve Reality, or a Sands of Time, or something big to hit with. Conclude's not it. These, I guess I could use Reach Heaven. That's not my favorite way to do that. That would work, though. That would kind of work. Yeah, I do think it's nice for Guardian. We're like almost able to make signature move work. That's pretty funny.
Does the through violence have retain on it? Yes. It's a uh, retain zero cost deal 20. Very powerful blapper of a card. Doesn't do a whole lot up front. Still not sure. Still not against Legge Villain. All right. Not going to take the prey, though. I think that's too much. Too soon. So this was starting with Prayer Wheel into our first three question mark rooms are all combats. Amazing. Just amazing. Oops, all combats. Oopsie daisy. Oops. More mantra. There's the carve reality. Dang it. Ah! But now I no longer need it. Yeah, can I just trade? I mean, this will be just as good, ultimately. A bit more expensive, but a bit more core draw intensive. But it'll do just fine. Not taking a worship. Alright, Elite, if that is your real name. Let's fight. The Sleepy Egg. I guess I'll take the regen potion and benefit from Art of War. Might as well. I'd rather keep the block potion than the regen potion. Just more usable. And I do get reach heaven, huh? Okay. Wakey wakey. Perfect. Actually, I can discard the crescendo. Yes. So I go Vigilance, Miracle, Scrawl. Then I can play Eruption if I draw either Empty Fist or the Vigilance again. We drew the Vigilance again. So we go Eruption. Two energy left. Play the Through Violence for the 40 damage. Back into Calm. Full block. Four energy. Best damage is 14 plus 12 plus 28. It's not enough. That's only 52. So I have to block this. So let's third eye and try to find the defend. The first card on top. Good. So we go empty fist, cut through fate, defend, defend. Crescendo next turn. Pick three. Oh no! Now we're fine. Give him a boot. Alright, beautiful fight overall. We score ourselves a kunai. If we play three attacks in one turn, gain one dexterity. Very interesting. Very good. We've gone very block heavy so far. Uh, and this now encourages us to take something like a weave or another copy of prostrate. Yes, that's the second mantra card to go with our first prostrate. Just add more prostrate and then upgrade one of them. That gives us five mantra per deck cycle and a really good block engine besides. Let's do it. Prostrate thyself. Panacea Fasting. Chat! I guess I still could, although that's a relatively early grab of a Panacea. 
this store is mostly underwhelming. That's how I feel about it. None of the relics here are all that good. I suppose wheel kit could be decent card draw. Handrill does help us against Guardian. That's that's true. And it will help us against our Act 2 boss as well. So this is actually a half-decent use case for the Handrill. That's still not going to see me buying it, though. I'm already confident against Guardian. <laughs> what we are going to do is remove a card, probably a defend, because I have so many extra blocks already added. The strikes are half-decent. We need them for the Kunai anyway. So I think I remove a defend even going into Guardian, because we have Prostrate, Prostrate, Third Eye. So I could do a wheel kick. Just lucky with Kunai is actually half decent. Foreign influence is decent. Panacea could be something later, but currently doesn't do much of all much of anything. But if we find a fasting, it'll be good. But it does nothing now, and a deck that's already like eh, struggling to do enough. So I think what I'm going to do is hold on to this money. I'm sure we'll be able to go to a shop early in Act 2. And having over 300 gold when we get there is going to be a, a nice thing. Um, let's Miracle in Third Eye. Just drawing the right cards is the only thing that really matters here. Cultist Potion, one strength per turn. We're offered a steady plus. At the end of our turn, shuffle an insight into the draw pile. There's a Prey if we want to really start ramping up Mantra. There's also Brilliance as a damage card to scale with our Mantra. Mesoemerus, thanks for 21 months of support. Heck yeah. Interesting. I'm not taking Steady. I might take Empty Mind, though. Empty Mind's a pretty good card. Yeah, study Prey Scrawl so we can play 12 insights per turn against the Time Eater. It'll be great. Uh, if Brilliance was a little bit less damage and added Retain, I think that'd be pretty cool. I really... I really could see this run really taking off. We get a, a couple a couple good things. I do think this Brilliance is going to be quite powerful. That's right, Brilliance has a base damage of 66 the first time you go Divine in a fight. And this is trending towards the sort of deck that might be able to do that turn one. Not turn one, first deck rotate, cycle through. Rarely turn one. I like it with the Kunai as well. Having attacks is nice. Got two ways into Wrath, lots of Scry... I'll add that one. Am I going to take Empty Mind? No. Okay. And I'm going to upgrade one of our Prostrates so that we get five Mantra. For two times through the deck. So, the Guardian Boss. I think we're pretty well set up here. We're relatively likely to get a new potion, and this potion's mostly useful in boss fights anyway. I'm going to use it here. For one ritual. I guess the other big use case for this would maybe be a Book of Stabbing in Act 2. I'm not that worried, though, about Book of Stabbing. Shall we scroll right away, or do I want to scry? Scrawl. Let's just scrawl. Miracle scrawl. Alright, get Reach Heaven down for Shurzies. Play three attacks for Shurzies. 
We'll do the full damage of the Brilliance here. And again, three attacks. Easy. One, two, three. Two strength, two dex. Build your own fasting. Could do quite a bit of damage if I'm willing to take some here. We could do even more if I'm willing to hold on. Could play the Reach Heaven here, get another through violence. Probably worth it here. We have to take a little bit of damage, but once we go Divine, we're just going to win. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of damage here. Okay, Divine next turn. Just win, Forehead. Easy. Easy peasy. Bonk. Get destroyed, Sir Guardian. We got a new potion. Arguably just as good as the first one. And there's the Devotion Plus that honestly looks pretty good. Three mantra per turn. We're already doing mantra things. It just works. Add a mental fortress, and we're going to have a stew going. If we'd gone mass insights, we could uh, we could have taken master reality. That wouldn't have been good, I assure you. But there is a world where we could have gone pray, study, then master reality. It's not a good idea. Is Deus Ex worth considering? It can be, especially with Scrawl. Deus Ex Machina can be a very, very good card. But I don't think I can let it compare to a Devotion Plus in a situation like this. Being able to reliably get to the right amount of Mantra is so good. Give me that. Well, 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 is that a P-Box? The so-called Pandoras. Pretty tempting. Other options here, if we just want energy, and there's nothing wrong with just wanting energy. Philosopher's Stone gives us energy at the start of our turn, but causes all enemies to start with strength. That's a bit spooky. Or the Busted Crown gives us energy at the start of every turn, but we have two fewer cards per card award. The way I like to think of this with Prayer Wheel is that it's an extra penalty rather than a mitigated penalty. Instead of looking at six cards for a, a combat reward, we're looking at two. So we're seeing four fewer cards. That's a really, really large penalty, a huge loss of resource. Busted Crown with Prayer Wheel is like taking Ectoplasm when you have membership card. Don't do it. So I think that means I'll take the seven transforms. Although there's definitely an argument for A, keeping both the strikes and defends because of the way they scale with the kunai um, and opting for additional energy. But there's a lot of good things we could get from transforms. Upgraded powers or simply more useful cards at large. It's also going to let me make better use of upgrades. So we get. I trust in the Pandora's box. We do get an upgraded power, a mental fortress plus, along with, oh, I don't know, an inner peace and a meditate, a sanctity, a third eye, the only odd one out, really, the wreath of flames. Even the collect has some use. Very, very nice set of cards in general. Zero attacks. Pandora's box, which leaves us with not a whole lot of ways to deal damage. But at the same time, feels pretty good. I would like to... Oh, geez. We're going to be fighting an elite pretty soon. Let's get prepared for that, first and foremost. That's a little spicy. That could be that could be tough, depending on which elite we face under what circumstances. This is the... This is a circumstance for Watcher where I advocate less elites taken in Act 2 and more upgrades taken. Usually after a Pandora's box, especially. 
Removal is also pretty good. So I'm thinking we do something like this. Maybe go for a combat over the event. We'll see how our potions stand. Could take combats over events here. Combats are pretty valuable. How well do I do in the hallway combats of Act 2? Currently, I'm a little bit worried about Chosen, mostly. Do we take a Ragnarok if we see one? I'd consider it pretty strongly. All the events will be combats anyways. You know, that is the takeaway from this run so far, I think. I think I'll take one event prior to the shop. Yeah, Chosen one. You. You present for me a problem, Chosen one. I can go Inner Peace, Eruption, Devotion, Empty Fist? Yes. We'll be Divine on turn three with a Prostrate. That's some good damage. I could also go Cut Through Fate, Empty Fist here. I'm going to rely on my Devotion here. Perfect. So we go Crescendo, Brilliance, Meditate the Brilliance. Yo, this deck is sweet. There's a freewheel kick if I want it. I think I do. A Wallop. A Reach Heaven Plus or a Nirvana Plus. You could say it's brilliant. I actually think I'd rather take Wheel Kick than Wallop. If I could only take one, and I, I can't only take one, but if I could only take one, I would take the Wheel Kick. Oh, Mitz, what do you call a bailer who hasn't gotten enough sun? A Paler Lord. Twelve cards, match them to keep them. By the way, there's another scroll in here for you. Lol. Thanks, Burrow. Another inner piece I would also strongly consider. Uh, I don't want another empty fist. Definitely don't want a decay. Yeah, thanks for the scroll, buddy. Oh my lord. What is this store? This is why you save money, kids. Can I buy the Toxic Egg after membership card? Not sure that I can. Hold on. Um, 284 minus 157 leaves us with times two, 254 gold worth of purchasing power. No, we can't get the Toxic Egg after the membership card. I think the membership card is better than the Toxic Egg. Although both are pretty good. I would like to remove this Wreath of Flame from my deck. I'd consider buying more cards. I don't feel like I need to. With membership card, I'd like to remove and maybe buy a potion. Ambrosia is definitely a good potion. I'll take the Bembo card to start. Violence is interesting card draw. Draw me three attacks. Can't do that in addition to removal, though. Do we ever buy the Devaform? Devaform's a little expensive to put in play in the first place. A little redundant with Mantra, too. And I have a Collect even to generate energy with? No, I don't think we ever take this Devaform. I don't think it's reasonable. Although we have gotten a lot of card draw, which I'm very, very happy with. I don't need another Prostrate, at least not paid. I think we keep the rest of this money. Or we buy the Divinity Potion as a failsafe. 
That's another exceedingly reasonable option. That might even let me go for the Burning Elite if I have the Ambrosia, right? Like, if I have Ambrosia, we get to here and we're fine, I can go here. Let's do that. Look at them scrolls. Could buy Swift Strike there to go with the Kunai. I don't think it's all that valuable, personally. Alright, so we're just looking to get... A Wrath card. Let's go Inner Peace Scroll. Yeah, because now we can Eruption, Prostrate, Prostrate, Vigilance or something absurd. Hit you first. Try to scroll for meditate. That seems pretty unlikely to happen. And I might need it next turn anyway. Give me your gold. No fool, give me your gold. Oh man, that's not enough, huh? Looks like the block potion will have to suffice. only 34. Can't collect and then meditate, so we just play meditate. I'll use the block pot. Please return to me. Yeah, just pick me divine next turn, actually. I guess I didn't really need to worry about this guy stealing my money, because I had no money to steal, huh? Well, regardless, you'll both perish. And we get a potion back anyway. There's the fasting plus if I want it. Think about that. Tantrum here if I want it too. There's a couple cards that are slightly incompatible with fasting, but I don't know. I think fasting will by and large be really good for us. With this deck. It's average cost and ability to generate energy. I'm going to try it. Really like fasting as a card in general. We're ready for the elite fight now. It's time to spin the wheel, says the gremlin. Thanks for the money, bruh. 200 free gold. This gremlin has my back today. What a, what a friend. What a friend. The Book of Stabbing. Yeah, what an absolute wingman. No kidding. I feel about inner peace next turn. Not good enough. Discard it. I'm going to not play Consecrate. We're going to bank energy with Art of War. Dabra Kadabra. That's what they all say. Here we go. So do I Vigilance Miracle Eruption? Or do I just Vigilance? No, it's going to be Vigilance, Miracle, Eruption, Scrawl. One energy left. Use that on either Empty Fist or Meditate. Meditate. To get back what? Hmm. This is tricky. Third eye. Yeah, 
here's devotion for us. We can enter wrath and then get back into calm, or we can use the inner peace to draw. Let's see what we'd be drawing into. Sanctity, consecrate, vigilance. I just want to draw to the other scroll, I think. Let's keep the sanctity. And crescendo this turn. So it looks like Devotion, Brilliance, Inner Peace. I can't play the Reach Heaven. And then we go Divine when we draw this next turn. Pretty good. Or maybe not next turn, but when we draw it. And I should be able to guarantee that. Scrawl would draw six, Fasting would draw the remaining one. If, or Sanctity would draw the remaining one. So let's just Scrawl first. Okay, that's divine. So we can go Fasting, Prostrate, gain six energy. No, five energy. Three from Divinity, two from Leaving Calm. And suddenly I'll have huge stats. Let me meditate at the end. Although, there might not be anything to meditate for, because Wheel Kick does 57, this does 54, this does 33. And this does 78. Oh. Well then. I guess I'll have two of these. And a Mummified Hand. And a Lesson Learned. Don't forget the lesson learned, chat. You weren't pogging enough. Let's upgrade these scrolls to start. The lesson learned will probably be able to do the rest. I have no fear of a burning elite with two ambrosia. I can just frivolously use one. And we're still good. And then we died. Somehow. Empty fist reach heaven. I think I'll use one of them this turn. The Ambrosias, that is. We can use Wheel Kick and the Reach Heaven to kill one. We're mostly full blocking anyway. Might as well do damage with Empty Fist too. So I need two, two, one. That's all I actually need. Six energy, which or five energy, which we'll have exactly. I could play the inner piece. It doesn't seem like there's much of a benefit one way or the other to doing so. So I don't think I care. One second? Nah. Just keep the Miracle in the Crescendo. I could Miracle Inner Peace here. Technically saves me energy when I enter Wrath. I'm not going to. I don't know if that's correct or not. We'll enter Wrath, kill you with Brilliance, meditate. Okay. And then we gotta set up a lesson there and kill on the Taskmaster. That might be easier said than done. Um, so I think I can play Collect if I do this right. We go Crescendo to enter Wrath now. Kill this man. Devotion will make Meditate free. So I'm allowed to Miracle. Collect to turn that Miracle into a Miracle Plus and then Meditate. Getting back my, I don't know, Third Eye? Fun to be able to play Collect and Meditate, right? 
with cute. So we get a vine next turn, which will lead to an easy lesson learned. Or will it? It should. I don't think I need the fasting, though. So this is 60. Perfect. Do 60. I'm at 6. Level up the third eye. We get meat on the bone if we're at or below half at the end of combat. Heal for 12. A green key, a stunts potion, and an empty mind. Plus, that's the one that we take. Not the one from Act 1. This one. We're about to get another relic as well. Maybe more money, too. Hoping we get a shop in the second half of the act. I really would like to spend some of this fat stack of cash that I've managed to earn. We're offered a sundial. Gain three energy for every three times we shuffle the... Uh, two energy, excuse me, for every three times we shuffle the draw pile. Sundial can be a key enabler of infinite combos, although this deck is definitely a bit large for that at the moment. Not impossibly so. And I'm sure we could put it to decent use. Or I can just take the blue key here and probably don't care that much. If I'm able to shuffle the deck multiple times, I'm also able to play Prostrate multiple times. Let's get the other Scrawl up upgraded. I have no fear of anything right now. We're fighting Bronze Automaton at the end. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. What could be a problem is these nerds here. Doing lots of attack damage turn one. I actually can't kill any of them. Despite my potions. I could Divinity Lesson learn one of them, but I won't even get an upgrade. So what's the point? That said, what I do get to do is prostrate, prostrate, collect for th three, Miracle Meditate. Get bonus energy from the Art of War as well as Miracle Pluses starting next turn. So we're going to have an energy surplus. I'll take some damage, sure, but I'm not afraid. Another Miracle Meditate turn. Kick is free. Hype. Double your damage. Double your fun. Actually, just almost kill you and leave you alive? Let's get rid of you. I had a feeling. Life seems good. Life seems really good. We upgrade our lesson learned, we get some money, we heal for 12, we pick up an incense burner, giving us intangible every sixth turn, and we're offered some more very good cards that are already in the deck. I actually wouldn't mind a third prostrate at this point. Now that we have a fasting plus, one more of these is appropriate. Or maybe we want another cut through fate, we're still lacking attacks. Let's take the second cut through fate, actually. Yes, hello, sir. Thanks to the gremlin friend, I am absolutely loaded and would like to now consider a dead branch. There's also shuriken to give us bonus damage for playing three attacks. Somewhat regret not taking panacea earlier now. Actually, is dead branch even good? Like, scrawls fill my hand anyway. Hmm. Not taking a second copy of Fasting. I might take Panic Button, though. Let's 
really good with miracles. It's going to help us generate attacks that we want. Might make Lesson Learned a bit awkward. I don't think I care about that. I can also consider Waffle here. A little bit more health for the Bronze Automaton fight is definitely going to be welcome. And more max health in general is very nice for this character. Is there anything I want to remove from this deck currently? Collect's actually kind of useful at the moment. Not outright useful, but kind of useful. Any consideration for Fear No Evil? I'm not willing to pay for Calm cards when I have three of them currently. Secret Weapon Dead Branch is a thing, though. Let's go Dead Branch Waffle. No panic button, no panic button. Am I sure about that? I think so. And no removal, at least not yet. But now, now we'll remove a card. Given that it's literally free, we might as well. Question is what to remove. Unironically, a remove eruption? Question mark? No. Eruption's good. Now that we have Dead Branch, Collect is good too. Third Eye Minus looking pretty bad. I can also maybe see getting rid of the Reach Heaven, but then what do I kill things with? I guess with Fasting we kill things. Alright. Remove the uh, Reach Heaven. Do it. Let's do it. Pressure pog. It's it's free. It's not helpful. It's not helpful at all. Meditate the third eye plus? I guess so. These aren't even that bad with the dead branch, huh? Not so. Those exact cards is somewhat acceptable. Let's cut through fate. Get the consecrate, knock the bird out of the air, and we can discard this daze at the same time. Could enter calm, but I don't feel the need to. Fasting, then empty mind, then prostrate. Then eruption, then prostrate. We gain three, then three, so we need this two as well. Next turn. Not gonna need any of that. Can just deal 13 now, or get way more energy for next turn. Get way more energy for next turn. Next 
Turns out I didn't need way more energy for next turn. Upgrade our wheel kick, get a swift potion worth considering. Another empty mind here. Flurry of blows, consecrate. Flurry is takeable, but not actually all that helpful. Yeah, we chose not to play the inner piece there because we wanted to avoid another days in the draw pile. That's right, we've already seen Shuriken go. It does do a lot of damage with fasting, though. So, and we have a lot of Scry, so it's worth thinking about as a, a damage line, but I really don't like Flurry very much. Not a Flurry fan. Swift Potion over Stance Potion? Yeah. In this deck, yes. What's still left to upgrade? We've gotten most of the important things. I think this one's still a very important upgrade, though. This is actually not a... I should have waited one more turn as well for this fight. Did not check my map adequately. Also, don't think I care adequately. I'm not afraid. Alright, we want that in play, turn one. So let's draw for it. Guess we'll do that later then. Decent opportunity to use collect pretty effectively. Let's see what Empty Mind is drawing. Prostrate, prostrate, and maybe a scrawl. That's pretty good. Cool. So I think I what? Collect for three, then miracle, then empty mind, then meditate. Yep. Generating lots of random cards as we do. Could also play one of these if I wished. Although note that I'll cost myself Art of War if I play an attack. We're already going to buy next turn. That would be a really good turn to then put the play the fasting in play. Let's get the extra energy for next turn with fasting. Or I could play the brilliance and then put the brilliance back into my hand so it does substantial damage next turn. Tempting. Very tempting. Let's just do this. I'll show you the power of flying sleeves while we're at it. They took both of my scrawls? Now that's rude. How dare they? Twenty-four damage twice. Pretty good. I can guarantee draw into that wheel kick, too. Do better than that, actually. Don't mind me, just going Divine next turn as well. Or maybe later this turn, question mark? Deeply unclear. Give me the other scrawl. Bring me my other scrawl. Brilliance probably does too much damage, huh? Guess there wasn't a next turn after all. But there was both an omniscience and a vault. This is an amazing run. That was indeed turn three of the Bronze Automaton fight. Poor Automaton. Can't stand up to this Automaton of fun. Omniscience Devotion's pretty fun, but Vault with Burner is so nice. Vault with Burner. 
take Fusion Hammer for more energy. Easy, easy. We upgrade everything with Lesson Learned anyway. And our powers that we pick up will be upgraded anyway. And we're going to see lots of cards that'll be upgraded anyway, just by random chance. So there's not a whole lot of need for the ability to upgrade cards at rest sites with the Fusion Hammer. Seems like a relatively free pick for me. Not a world's worst Sozu either. These are pretty good potions, and we could carry them to the rest of the run, but we'd like to have, have them available as an emergency button, if need be. Let's take the hammer. Last choice, the tiny house. Just gives us a bit of money, which is nice with the membership card, some max health, and a card award. It's nice, but not nearly nice enough to warrant doing something weird. I like taking more events here. I know we're getting bonus card rewards from combats, but I feel pretty capable. We've got the deck mostly built. And I want to see stuff like double orb walkers or something. And then we'll probably do something like this. Pass through a couple shops with our membership card. Just look at the offerings that are there. Could go more combats, less events here. Just stare at a bunch of card rewards. But lessons! There'll be a few lessons to learn in the in the question mark rooms. Maybe we'll do a, a few guaranteed combat, something like this. That seems more reasonable. Alt's really good with Art of War, too. Something I did not initially mention, but certainly true here. Need another scroll. I am the scroll. Be the scroll. that. That's funny. Let's go... Just lower their health. Empty fist you. Brilliance here. Wrong order. Doesn't matter. Take back all my divinity stuff. You and you. Guaranteed lesson learned draw next turn, so let's just prepare for that. Our intangibility is not lined up right, but I don't care. Just want to upgrade stuff here. Cards I don't want, cards I still don't want. Foreign influence not too bad with Dead Branch, though. Get nerded on, fools. Um, keep the wheel kick, actually. We'll kick fasting next turn. We'll kick vault, rather, next turn. Give me back my... Actually, empty fist is even better. Looking for my... Lesson learned. There it is. Oh, 
No more daisies, please. damage, man. Can't quite get the kill, though, before the uh, burner goes off. It's funny. Nation Halt. There we go. Rushdown plus. Or another inner piece plus. Or a Deus Ex Machina. All three of these are pretty good additions. Deus Ex with the Dead Branch is quite spectacular. Um, but I think we'll probably appreciate a free power in a deck with a mummified hand. I think the Rushdown. Deus Ex is actually kind of awkward with the Scrawls. I cannot create room in hand. How embarrassing. We had the uh, thingy for that. You're good as you are. Where's my devotion? Hello. Thirty eight. Call that one the big number. Somehow there's a Deva form. I don't know where that came from. Maybe the wheel kick in the prostrate. Most takeable worship, but probably unnecessary. Okay, I think we got enough card rewards. Let's take some events now. That one's not a taker. What about this one? Double orb walkers will get a ton of money and a random rare relic. Although it costs us essentially minus one card reward compared to the others, the other lines. That is okay. I'll take the art of war or do I take Play Brilliance for a bit of damage. I think we just Vault take the Art of War. You play Blast Me with Incense Burner at 5, will we survive? Yes. Yes. Uh, let's Chain React the Powers first. Make all this stuff free. Meditate gets me into Divinity very soon. That actually means we're very happy with this draw. I want to have Wheel Kick with Divinity next turn. So I'm not even going to play the Cutthroat Fate. I'm just going to... Then I have Devotion too, so I'm just going to Meditate Brilliance and Prostrate Plus, and that should be plenty.
judged. Deleted. We get 49 gold in the bird face urn, healing us when we play a power card. That'll be a lot of health for combat if I ever took damage in the first place, which I don't. Almost tempting to take a protect plus for sheer power of block. Almost. Dennis the Nemesis is here. Alt next turn, perfect. Discard the wheel kick then. So we'll go collect Miracle Meditate just like before. Could Brilliance too? Might as well. Brilliance. Collect. Miracle. Weave for the Kunai. Meditate. Get back. Third Eye and Empty Mind. Yeah. Help me with this nonsense. Revolt, you say? We'll see about that. You're intangible this turn, so going into Wrath doesn't really seem like it helps me much, huh? Although it does give me more stunts change power. Cut through fate, get another dex. Oh, that works too, actually, yeah. I could vault here, but I really have no compelling reason to whatsoever. Intangible to slow you down. Slay your nearest invincible ghost today. Bottled Tornado allows us to have a power in the opening hand. Bottling our Devotion Plus seems pretty spicy, although reasonable consideration for a rushdown, mental fortress, or fasting instead. Kaizo Kusanji, thanks so much for the Prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. I'm also going to take one more wheel kick. The big draw. I'm feeling the devotion, personally. Let's bottle that devotion. <laughs> Ink bottle and ice cream, both pretty absurd here. I can buy them... Uh, no, I can't buy them both. Ink Bottle gives us yet more card draw by giving us a draw whenever we play 10. Ice Cream allows us to conserve energy from turn to turn, making the fasting all the more powerful. There's a fairy for us to save, too. I'll take the ice cream. <laughs> Leaving us with 125 bucks. Last Relic here, Melange says whenever we shuffle the draw pile, scry three. Not as good as you want it to be, I assure you. Everything else in the deck mostly has a purpose. I even like the collect now that we have ice cream. <laughs> I'm not going to buy a second one, though. That'd be ridiculous. 
That'd be ridiculous. So the slow property of Giant Head says every time we play a card, Giant Head takes 10% more damage from attacks for this turn, meaning Brilliance currently does 160 damage. No big deal. Turn 2, Giant Head kill. Free new evil being offered for free. I think we're good. I'll go to this one, because I'm a, I'm a rebel. Get a pen nib, doubling the damage of every 10th attack we play. Recall here, no use for a rest, right? Got all three keys for Act 4. And I think this is the way we go. We get to look at one more shop with about 400-ish gold. And we get to fight another elite. One thousand damage brilliance. Brilliant. Get him our glass. Double. Lesson learned. I still don't have a way to apply Vulnerable, but I really don't think I need it. Why keep Miracle in hand with Ice Cream? Uh, because if I play it, I get another card in hand. So it, I can't actually play Miracles to create hand space. That's not how it works. The Dead Branch makes a new card. So I can play the Miracle before the Scrawl, but it doesn't change a dang thing. top card as well. Alright, I think this will work out because of... Mummy Hand. Here we go. Inner Peace, Miracle. Get out of that. KO that nerd. Pen Nib the Wheel Kick, Bonk another one. That's funny. Put me back into bomb. Make some more energy there. Gotta tell you, two scrawls has really helped us hold this deck together. In spite of seemingly everything. Copy of Fasting Plus. I think two would be a bit redundant. One is perfectly fine. Speed Potion maybe has use. Ah, 
Alchemical X. That's interesting. Somebody asked me about a Ragnarok. Here's a nice cheap one. Could buy another Ambrosia. Have double Ambrosia once more. Chemical X to empower the effect of the Collect is oddly hilarious here. Giving us lots more energy to work with. Although not as much more as you'd want. Since it does take one t turn per miracle. Letter opener would also do fairly substantial area damage. Every time we play three skills in a turn. Probably three or four times per turn. With what we're currently doing. I'll take it. Also works with randomly generated conjure blades, should we care about that sort of thing. Um, it's not top priority, or even medium priority. To be able to do that, but it's it's nice. Again, after speaking of, there's a conjure blade. It's funny. Going, don't feel like I want to. I conjured it. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Get back the lesson learned in the other conjure blade. Let's do it. Either expunger. Perish. Fool. I strike at thee. Get a stone calendar. Another chance at wallop here. I'll take it. Wallop is a really good late game card. Especially with Pendid. Especially with many, many upgrades. Nothing to do here at the final rest site. It's time for our first Act 3 boss, the Awakened One. Scrawls on top, looking good. So is Collect. Let's get rid of the wheel kick. Play Crescendo Inner Peace for block this turn. I think I will. Play this too. I say was on top. Scrawl was on top. Rather take the damage, get the healing from the bird face turn. These are good. These are all good. Meditate though. Guess I'll just play the collects. Hack the meditate. I only slightly regret this. Ready to die, kid? He's ready to die. Thank you. 
definitely Alpha Beta Omega. We'll do it. Play them all right now. Who wins between Omega and Stone Calendar? Should be Stone Calendar. Pretty sure that's the order. Yeah, get in there, Stone Calendar. GG. Get dunked on. All right, we have to be a little careful in the next fight. The only thing that's actually kind of important for me is that I leave this next boss fight, Floor 51, with the incense burner set to either three or four, ideally four. Um, but with Vault, it could, it could be on three as well. take some damage here. That's a little annoying, but within the realm of acceptability. Never liked you either, Time Eater. You're stinky. You're smelly. And you make problems for me. Who's brilliance here? Anonymous, thanks for the very generous 11 gifted subs. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club, everybody. Also, Pytor 4 k thanks for the 32-person raid. Welcome. Welcome to what might be win number 19. A very, very big Slay the Spire win streak here. Return to be divine. Got the vault next turn, good. By vault next turn, I'll be intangible for whatever this stupid nonsense is. Yeah, 15 by 3, how about you suck it times 3? How about that? Have you thought about that? Because you should. Don't meditate. Play vaults. Not meditate. Yeah, we can do a lot of damage this turn. A lot of damage this turn. Not quite enough to kill, though, looks like. Then give me back Wrath that I can maybe kill with. Actually, do I want to kill? I don't think so. Like I said, Incense Burner needs to be on three or four, so i got to cut my roll here. Slow your roll, Baylor. So, not ready for this to end yet, either. do too much damage. Okay, there's lesson learned right on top. So, incense on three is reasonable. 
Incense on three is reasonable. Take the lesson learned to kill now. That way we can vault if we want to during the first few turns of combat. We can also just use the Ambrosia to kill Spire Spear and Spire Shield very, very early in the fight. If I do it quickly enough, if I get a turn one or turn two kill, we'll automatically be set up for the hard fight, which I like quite a lot. Rain Spoon Dead Branch. That's interesting. Don't know that that's good, but being able to maybe keep Scrawl or Vault is pretty powerful. Another copy of Mental Fortress. That is easily welcome. That's good. Do we have any unupgraded cards remaining in this deck? Wallop. Just Wallop. I wouldn't mind losing the Lesson Learned then. Could do Mental Fortress, remove Lesson Learned. Sadistic potion, double skill potion for wave of the hand, the power. The power. So Strange Spoon says, cards that exhaust when played and sit discard half the time. If they discard, we don't get a new card from the dead branch. But that's not the worst thing in the world. I think I'm just going to do this, though. Lose the lesson learned. Don't worry about it. Keep the current potions and be on our merry way. Hmm. I've got empty fists, so there's no harm in playing crescendo here. Okay. Nothing else in my hand will exhaust or anything. Let's see what's on top of the deck. Swift potion could make a big difference here. Casting cut through fate. Collect. Hmm. I'm not sufficiently convinced. How much damage am I even taking this turn? Not very much. And I have healing coming up too. I'm not worried enough. Keep the cut through fate, discard the other two. And it will be ready. Technically less damage if I face this way, although Burner is already set up to solve you. Hit you then. Take a bit. Not an unacceptable amount, but a little bit of an annoying amount. Prostrate, or do I only have two? Only had two this whole time. Fair enough. Close to being able to kill the spear. But close to and can are a little different here. Um, this would add three base, only six damage. Not worth it. Play Brilliance, then scroll. So, Vault here makes me intangible now. I actually don't want to be intangible now anymore. Or do I? I don't think I do. Nine months. 
Blood Draw automatically divine next turn. Give me back. Or intangible fasting and cut through fate, though. Hey, y'all, Pibborn. This is indeed run number 19 you're looking at. What a run. It shall be. Actually, we can do lots of damage. Why not? Any other powers I haven't played? I can always make new powers with the power of Dead Branch, though. Just get incense burner on three. Three is the important number. I want it on three specifically, not four. That way I can vault or not vault as I see fit. No powers have been forthcoming. I'm fine with that. And Nibon 9's good. Got a teardrop locket to start us out in calm stance. Another potion if I want it. Like water or worship if I want it. I'm going to go with I don't. We never did find a way to weaken the heart, did we, huh? Hmm. I do slightly regret not taking that floor one sash whip that we saw. I could take this one. I don't think it's going to help that much. I guess we'll just go without being uh, weak for the heart. That'll be fine. Eco no one three two seven says, "What's the rotating record?" You are looking at it. To get more set up, essentially. Use this as well, since I've got extra block. Oh, yeah. Perfect hand. Yeah, that's what we want for getting set up before the heart attacks. Me. Extra devotion, too. That's cool. I think we'll go fasting, then prostrate. Actually, rush down will make fasting free. Then we can go fasting. Maybe better to scrawl, actually. More powers are being generated by the minute. for a bunch of energy. I don't want to collect for a lot, though. We just need to collect for a, a basically as little energy as possible. Maybe this is the turn we Ambrosia. We're going to be divine pretty fast. So why not be divine right now? Let's do it. Let's camp out on damage right now. I can play collect first. It's kind of reasonable. There'll be a lot of turns of that.
Okay. Um. Get kunai procs. Trying to find more powers to put in play. Meditate's great. I can go back into Divinity this turn. That's funny. How much more stuff can I actually get done? Tangible next turn, so drawing all the statuses on the same turn isn't even all that bad. Um, we'll have eat mantra. I want card draw. We've establishment, right? So this is also going to reduce the cost of the two cards I fetch. So let's not get a prostrate. Let's get wheel kick and the cut through fate. Make those both cost reduced cards permanently. We get a Master Reality to go with our Dead Branch. Any cards we create will be upgraded. Also, 16 block per stance change. You'll love to see it. Sanctity Plus. Pen Nib Brilliance for 180 damage. Desire. More cards, please. Take the meditate and the prostrate. Probably some cards. Bonk. Now to talk to the hand plus. Yeah. Be back, prostrate, and heck it, the other fasting. Nothing can possibly go wrong. Brilliance for 396 damage. GG. Talk about a one-sided fight. Hey there, if you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And before you go, join us on Twitch and watch live. I'm there five days a week playing Slay the Spire, answering questions, and chilling with the community. Click the link in the description to follow right now. Ta-ta for now.